Thank God it is Friday. And guess what? Today we are designing this simple TGIF poster and puzzle lab. And if you really want to know why I used this color and why I have to kind of come up with this background and how I did all this stuff in puzzle lab, then you actually have to watch this video from now up to the end. Then you will be able to understand why I have to use certain things in this particular design, right? And I hope you are ready for that. Now, before we even delve into this tutorial, I want to let you know one thing, okay? So tonight, 7.30 p.m., that's GMT on a dot, we have one interesting topic to discuss in a Serene Ads Telegram channel. So if you are not in that channel right now, if you're not part of that channel, click the link in the video description and you know join right away the topic that we are going to talk about is how to get and retain clients as a graphic designer so if you've actually been following me for a while now you should probably know that what i am all about how to make money out of your graphic designs okay so if that is something that you really want to you know get to learn because i realize a lot of you are not making money out of your designs and that's something i actually don't like okay so tonight just make sure you are you are part of art okay make sure you are part of us right so you can just go to telegram then search for serene art you'll probably see the channel popping up or just use the link in the video description to send you over there directly okay so enough of that and now let's jump into today's tutorial good so what i'm going to do now is to start from a fresh page like this okay so now the first thing i'm going to do is to import the models picture right so i'm going to leave all these resources in a video description so that you can also have access to them right so i'm just going to pick it up right now and say what i can do with it okay all right so i got it right here i'm just going to crop it a little bit like this and i'll stretch it down like this okay and i i think this should be okay for me right now okay so i'll just put it here i'll not lock it yet what i'm going to do next is to change the background color now i earlier on said i have to use a certain color for a certain reason now if you look at a person's image the model's image there's some kind of shades around it and those shades you know i've actually picked the color from the shades of the model so let's assume i want to pick that pick the color from scratch i have to tap on a plus sign over here then use the color picker tool over here then i'll select i'll tap on the model like this then i'll probably maybe zoom in to find a perfect match okay a perfect color that i can use so let's say i want to use something closer to this range over here so i'm just going to all that you have to be doing is be watching this area okay as you move this slider or the color detector okay you have to be watching that side and see which color will be perfect for you okay yeah something like this will not be bad okay so we tap on a check mark and we tap on okay so this is what we'll be having right this is what we'll be having but if you want to make it a little bit dark it's also cool but this one too is cool okay right so i'll tap on a check mark and this is what i'll be having right here so the next thing for me to do is to just enter the test which is tgi f thank god it's friday so i'll just tap on ok and i'm going to use a font a popular font that i've been using for one now go boot boot and of course i have to increase the size of it i think something like this won't be bad so i'll tap on the check mark and i have to go ahead and clear the space you could see that there's a space in front of the f i don't want that space to be there so i'm just going to move back a little bit and i've done it so what i'm going to do is to position this at the middle like this and push it to the back of the model so i'll tap on to back over here and of course i have to make a duplicate of it like this so for this duplicate i'll tap on a color picker tool and give it 
a transparent color which literally means there will be no color attached to this you know test so i'll tap on a plus sign and all i have to do is to move this slider to the transparent area like this and tap on ok so this is what i'll be having over here and i'll tap on a check mark after this so the next thing that i have to do is to go to stroke enable the stroke then reduce the width to one then i'll change the color to white as well after that i have to just arrange it over here like this okay i have to arrange it to fit perfectly onto exactly what i want okay in your case what you want okay so i think this is okay for me and i have to tap on a check mark right after this like this so this is what i'll be having for now okay this is what i'll be having for now so as we move on we may try to adjust some other thing okay remember we've not actually worked on the background yet the background may probably be the last thing that we you know work on in this particular tutorial so just you know stay tuned so what i'm going to do now is to enter some tests like thank god it's friday i'm going to enter a test like h a n k like the the initials of the thank god and stuff will be omitted so quickly let me tap on a test editor tool and start with the first one so this is thank god okay so i'm just going to use this and of course i'm going to use a font like montserrat for this one let's see how it's going to look so montserrat bold and of course i'm going to change the color to that of the background like this and i'll put it on the t letter t over here so we have to reduce the size of it and let's do that quickly and see how it's going to look so 21 let's see how it's going to look over here that isn't bad so we're going to make a copy of it again and go to edit the next test is god so for god we'll write og or uh, sorry od od so we already have the initial of god which is the g letter g so we're just going to write the od over there i don't want to use the full test on this again so that's why i'm doing it like this okay but if you want to write the full test you can equally do that all right it's about your preference okay so this is what we'll be having for now and i'll just have to go ahead and you know use the next test which is it's so we have it like this it's but i'm going to remove the i because we already have the i over there letter i so i'm going to have something like this and i have to push it onto the working area quickly i think this is pretty cool now and the last one is friday so i just made a duplicate of that and i'm going to edit it to you know we have friday so this is what we are going to have right here and of course we have to push it onto the other one as well the letter f so quickly let's do that so we assume we have the initial of friday which is the letter f we have it already so i'm just putting it over here but like i said it's all about your preference okay so now we are done with like let's say 70 percent down now let's done let's see what we can do now so right now i just inserted a shape and this shape we're gonna put it at the bottom somewhere like this okay because we're going to put some test on it and i'll tap on a check mark after that i'll go to shadow add a little bit of shadow to it and probably push it up like this okay so you move the offset which is the y axis you move it a bit and increase the blur radius okay so something like this won't be bad so negative one in a y axis and 
the blur radius of 23 won't be bad you can even make it 25 it won't be bad okay so at this point you can go ahead and lock that particular layer all right so once you have it like this you can equally go ahead and you know prepare your background but before we prepare the background i want us to enter some tests onto the working area by the, the shape we just inserted okay so i'm going to use the font which is the Montserrat bow the one we use over here i'm going to use that font so i'm going to make a copy of this test and write some other thing that i want to you know write so i'll be like this is just any test i'm just putting out there okay you can put anything that you want to put over here okay so it's another great friday here okay so that's what i'm going to do okay go and glow all right so i'm telling you now to go and glow in your great design journey okay so quickly i have to actually lock the other you know elements so that i don't have to uh, stress myself or distract myself in the course of editing all this stuff okay so i think um i'm okay now so i can now bring this onto the white background peacefully and of course i want to reduce the size of it a little bit i would like it to be around 16 okay uh, 17 too is not bad so let me just use my grid tool to check some alignment over here and see what i can do best okay i hope you guys are learning something out of that if you are actually learning something don't forget to hit that like button right now on this video and also subscribe if you are new to this channel okay so the next thing that i'm going to do right now is to make a duplicate of this go to edit and you know delete this and probably add some other tests that uh i want to ask i want to add sorry <laughs> okay so we are available available 24 7 24 7 the system is working 24 7 to handle your work okay um i think that's pretty cool so i'll be like send send a dm right away send a dm now okay so i think we are pretty much done 97 percent the remaining thing now is for us to design our you know background okay so let me just do that quickly i'm taking off the grid tool and i'm going to import the background image that we are going to use so i'll go to my gallery probably all this stuff will be in a video description so you don't have to worry okay so after getting our background like this what i'm going to do is to use the square size ratio by which is one by one and probably you know bring it down like this to select the folded portion of this in the background after that i'll tap on a check mark and i'll i'll have to use a relative size tool to position it like this and this will be the best thing that you should do okay after this tap on a check mark like this and push this to the back of your work okay so this is what we'll be having and that's not all we have to reduce the opacity of it okay so when you reduce the opacity you're going to have something like this okay guys i think at this point we are pretty much done so all that you have to do right now is go ahead hit that like button on this video and also subscribe if you are new to this channel right don't forget to share this video with other friends of yours who are equally graphic designers or who are interested in learning things related to graphic designing with their smartphone all right and of course tonight we are discussing in a telegram channel how to get and retain clients as a graphic designer so this is Godsway here and i hope to see you in my next video, bless up.